Good morning. What's well, not morning? Gosh, don't we keep doing this. It's afternoon. It's 12 af in the afternoon at least. Um, it's like six hours after I usually wake up, so which is a good thing. We woke up to It's Laura Boss telling us that we are in today's CTFXE mail vlog, which is awesome. We found mustache I bandages. I don't know if I filmed myself getting the mustache bandages. We got mustache band-aids. And uh, I sent them to Charles like a while ago, but they've been behind on doing a mail vlog. And then they remembered us. Yeah, I was excited. They remembered our story so far. They remember that was the guy on Conan. Awesome, awesome. Urgh, you're brought up and then you're knocked back down. Our shower's not working right. It's really weird. Um, I guess the, the shower pressure is just dying. So I have to contact them now. <sighs> All right, going into LA Fitness now, trying to get the paper for the cancellation form. You're a witness. We'll see how difficult it is to actually let, let us cancel our membership here. We're probably going to be in here for like 30 minutes, most likely. I looked online about how to cancel LA Fitness, and they said you had to send in membership to corporate and all this stuff. So I was all expected to do that. I go in there. She says she cancels it, and we won't get billed after October 15th. Her name is Tina. Just, just as a reference, she was very helpful, she was very nice, um, super awesome person, um, but I'm kind of nervous to see if we actually get it canceled or not. Update on uh, LA Fitness, we, Serena and I both got our individual emails that our memberships were canceled, so it looks looking good. I'm very proud of you LA Fitness, I take back all the mean things that are being said now. about you on the internet. For now. <laughs> We'll wait till after October 15th, and if we get charged, then you will be hearing from the OSSF, and they will be destroying your face. Uh, but now we're going to our P.O. box, because someone asked our P.O. box address, so I gave it, but I put Serena's name on it, because I didn't know what would happen if my name was on it, because Serena's the one who got the P.O. box. Um, so I, what I did is I mailed myself a letter <laughs> with my name, with our P.O. box, and so it's a little test to see if we actually get the mail. And if we actually get it, then I'll be really excited because then I got got mail today. Yay! Yay, mail! We're going to see if Serena can find our P.O. box. I think she's going to fail at it. Let's see. Try your key. You don't have a key? Oh, uh, I do. It's in my thing. See? So it does Boom! <laughs> What did you write to yourself? Oh, you'll, you'll find it. It went from our apartment to a peel box, which is like two miles away, and it got so dirty and gross. What'd you send to yourself? <laughs> Let's get physical, physical. Okay. Look at the giraffe. Oh, you can't even tell it's a giraffe. Let's see. Like a giraffe, it's made out of iron, and it's right there, and I want it. I want it. And our car smells like hot dogs. It's the random like statues that I always think are real people. Every time I look up there, I'm like, damn it, they always get me. I always think they're real, but they're not. It's really creepy. They have like mannequins in their parking garage. Yeah. So we just watched today's uh, CTFXC where they talk about the uh, mail vlog, and we're in the mail vlog. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, yeah. That's so awesome. But in the vlog, they said, Charles said that he was coming to LA in the next week. Yeah. And my question is, how do we find a way to meet Charles without being creepy stalkerish? I know. That, that's the issue that we're running into right now. Because like, we can't be like, oh, what are you going to LA for? Sweet, I will stay there until you walk by there. This is my apple. This is Josh's apple. Did I get ripped or what? Well, they're different apples, different places. I know, but no, even, the, I know, but the gala apples at Sam's Club are like this huge, not this huge. Get all check, out, check out these apples. You check just, them out. You're putting them right there as if you have like misappropriated boobs. <laughs> my apples. So how awesome is it that I got a, uh, well, thank you note from my cousin, the one you saw for the 16th birthday party. Um, and then the whole family sent me $30 of chilies, chilies. And then we still have the $25 that my mom gave me for my birthday. Oh, so that's where we're going now, chilies. Of course, of course we're going to chilies. I picked the wrong day to not wear my contacts and being able to 
have sunglasses on. So Serena suggested this, that she does it quite often, apparently. She puts sunglasses over, over her regular glasses. glasses. I, I feel like an idiot. It works. I feel like it I'm, works. It's just annoying. Like, it'll, because it, it doesn't fit right, and, like, the sunglasses will fall off. Yeah, before I ever started wearing contacts, I had my glasses, and I was like, and I didn't have transition lenses or any of that stuff. Did you have the magnetic cover that goes on? Oh, yeah. Well, that was um, after this story. I didn't know that was um, that bad. Um, yeah, I had the magnetic cover that went clip right yeah, up Yeah, I had those too. I had the ones, those big sunglasses that fit over your sunglasses. Oh, yeah. That the old people wear. And that oh, are gosh. made for that. I got those, yeah. yeah. I don't know. They came out with like newer ones of those. And I know. apparently they don't look bad because I know a few girls that work yeah, at them. But mine were bad. The magnetic clip ones are fun because I'll put them on the sink. Like, not the magnetic clip part, but my real gla the glasses that belong with the magnetic thing, I'll put them on the sink and all my bobby pins will get stuck to them. What a nerd. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you glasses. This is the most awkward seating ever at Chili's. How would you expect to sit there? Like, this is a bench, and this is a bench, but like, no one, no one could ever sit there. Chips number one, down. Someone's someone reaching in for the, the last few little, little guys. Do you need more salt? There it goes. Wagon. Oh, the tree was kind of in the way. Wait for me, wait for me. So we have 94 videos right now. I'm pretty sure if you took them all together and looked at them all, 70 of those videos would be Hey, we're going to Chili's. Now we're at Yogurt Land. I'm pretty sure that's what would happen. Probably. But it's good. Look. I got nuts and granola on top of chocolate almond bar. So we're going to watch Adjustment Bureau with Matt Damon. Say it. Why do you say it like that? I think it's from Team America, that movie, that puppet movie. Oh, I never saw it. I never saw the movie either. But I know everybody goes, Matt Damon. I think it's from that movie. Strongly suggest all of you to go see Adjustment Bureau. Well, not go see. Rent Adjustment Bureau with Matt Damon. Oh. So good. That was the best movie ever. So good. Now I think Serena's trying to find if there's more uh, football on TV since the football started. No. Wait, did it start or is it still preseason? It's still preseason. When does football start? Why are all these preseason? I don't, even know. I don't even know about sports. Because they need to practice. They miss that whole time. Is it wrong? She knows a lot more about sports than I do. Some sports. We're a good mix. Yeah. I could own you on hockey. Yeah. I know more about football. Never got into football. No, it's not. <laughs> oh. Wouldn't that be ridiculous if that's our thumbnail of me just going like... This should be it. We can't pick thumbnails. I know. Alright guys, I think that's it for the night. Um, hope you had a good night. Hope you had a good vlog that you watched and had some fun watching us. <laughs> I said now. I said now. Night.